Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video will be a vlog. Oh my god, you guys can see all my mess stuck there on my bed. I haven't even done my bed, but whatever. So this vlog will be a weekend vlog. And today I actually have to go get my medical records so that I can upload my immunization records to my castle branch, which is where we input all the information for clinicals because they want records of all your immunizations. And of course, because I didn't have my immunization record, I freaking lost it since like nursing school, I think. So I had to ask my provider to order titers for me. And if you guys don't know what titers are, it's a blood work that you do that shows whether you have received the immunizations already or not. So I believe it was like the measles, hepatitis A and B, and what else? I don't remember what else. I think the, oh yeah, I also had to do the, to the TB test, but I didn't want to go back and forth. Like, because you have to go get it done, right? If you do the injection, the one in the arm. That's gonna take forever, so I asked them to just order a quantifron. I think that's it. Quantifron. So it's just blood work that you do, so that way I don't have to go back. So I did that as well, and then I got my tetanus shot there, so I need to go get all those records. So I read online that it takes 15 business days, and I hope it's really not 15 business days because I need them now. So I'm gonna go do that today. I'm gonna meet my friend for lunch. We're gonna go to a Brazilian steakhouse, and I'm so excited. She hasn't been there, so I'm excited for that. And then, what else do I have to do? I have to run errands with my dad this afternoon because he has to go to the social security office. It's been quite the week, actually, because my dad actually had emergency surgery last week. His appendix ruptured and he ended up with peritonitis. So, it's been quite the week and uh, I think, like, as a healthcare professional, it was, like, I don't know how to explain it because it's different when you're when it's not your family member obviously it's different but when it's your family member you just become like really overprotective I guess you could say but I'll probably talk about that in another video if not I'll talk about it later in this video but sometimes I hate pulling the I'm a nurse card because it's kind of like people you know how it is when you're a nurse, people don't want to hear that you're a nurse because then they, you think that you know it all. But sometimes you have to pull that card and say it because people are trying to do things that they're not supposed to do. And seriously, they, they shouldn't be doing things like that. Like changing a consent, an informed consent after the patient signs. You can't do that. That's illegal. Very illegal. You cannot do that. So. Yeah, it was quite the experience, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I probably just won't talk about it anymore, but it's just so different when it's your family who's the patient and whether it's somebody that you don't know. But either way, I've come to the realization that being a nurse practitioner is something that I want to do because I want to make sure that I'm advocating for those that don't really have, like, the knowledge of knowing what exactly is going on with their health. And just like for the community, like for my community, like my Hispanic Latino community that don't understand things that go on with their health, it's just so important that they have somebody who's bilingual who is able to advocate for them. And even, I don't know, it's just, it's crazy, you guys. So many things happen and you're like, wow, like I bowed my, to myself during that experience that I wouldn't be that provider that just doesn't like listen to the patient or that provider that won't that gets mad because a family member is asking a question so that's that and i'm just grateful that i know like what the heck was going on because i don't know you guys it's crazy i'm just i'm just glad i was able to advocate for my dad and make sure that you know he was getting the care that he deserved and needed so yeah that's all i'm gonna say about that probably but now i have to get ready i think it's like it's 9 48 and i gotta get ready i told my friend i'd meet her up at 11 45 but like i said i think i'm gonna go get my medical records first try to get them today and not wait like 15 days to get them 
But yeah, I'm gonna get ready. I think I got, where's the check? Oh no, I think I cut it off. I'm almost positive I got it 30, I got it 36C. So the sizing is a little bit off. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. So, finished look. And we are ready to go. All right, you guys. So, I'm gonna go to the hospital to see if I could get my medical records. And, yeah. Let's go get those medical records. Let's see. It's 10.39. By the time I get over there, it'll be like, maybe 11.15. And hopefully I could just request him real quick. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see. I'll update you guys on whether I get them or not. But I'll let you guys know. You guys. Oh my god. I am so stuffed. I just left lunch. And we were there for literally like from 11.45 to 1.30. I am so stuffed. So stuffed. And it was, like I said, a Brazilian steakhouse, so they were bringing out all these cuts of meat. And, oh my god, it was delicious. Ugh. I have to go inside, you guys, and have to go get my dad because we're going to go run some errands. We have to go to the social security office, and then <sighs> we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll show you his drain if he lets me. We'll see. You guys, so my dad let me show you guys. So this is a... Jackson Pratt drain and this drain is also known as a JP so it connects to the abdomen it's actually in the abdomen and it's sutured here but it has a gauze that I'm not gonna remove but this drains into here the first day it drained about 175 of fluid but now within the last couple of days it's drained like maybe Maybe like 30 or 40. Mm, yeah, less. Totally yeah, better. or less, yeah. My dad's been emptying it out, so he knows how to use it now. But he clips it here so that it doesn't just hang. So he, he clips it to his sweatpants. But the way you open this, it has to be like pushed in so that it creates a suction so that the fluid can drain out. And the way, I don't have gloves, so I don't want to remove it, but this is the opening you just open it up and then you just drain it all out and it becomes like a bulb but then once you're done draining it you just press it back in and then you close it so this should be removed by the time he goes back to his doctor's appointment on Tuesday and he'll just remove it I've seen it being removed uh, removed in the past and usually the surgeon who puts it in will remove it and all they do is remove the uh, st stitches that are there and then he'll just pull it out and that's it so he also had a, he had it done laparoscopic, so here it's a little bruised, but it's getting better. And then he got, where is it, daddy? Oh, right there. And he had one in his umbilical, but it is actually getting better and his abdomen is not as tender. So yeah, this is a Jackson Pratt drain, which is also known as a JP drain. All right, you guys, so I... I'm now editing my video. I just uploaded my YouTube video and it's me talking about why I decided to leave the bedside but I totally forgot that I forgot to do like all the like the end screens and all that so like I have to fill this out and I just did my thumbnail so I'm gonna do it put it up now but if you guys are interested in knowing why it is that I left the bedside then check out that video I'll link it up here oh there's my dad they're having dinner but anyways um yeah go watch that video and if you have left the bedside or if you're considering leaving the bedside I want to know why you left or why you're considering it so make sure to comment down below good morning it's actually the next day and it's coffee time doing this one the mid cafe I'm gonna use this creamer. I usually just use almond milk creamer. Oh, una 
All right, you guys, as you know, it's Saturday and it's homework day. It's actually due today and it's a research class that I'm doing where I am critiquing research articles. So yeah, that totally sucks. Good morning, you guys. I, what time is it? Let's see, actually. It's actually Sunday now. 9.21, I already went for my Starbucks. I was really craving a green tea latte hot. But it's finally getting into like fall weather in California. So I just got a venti green tea latte with one pump of vanilla and almond milk. It's so freaking good. So I already went to go get gas as well, filled up my car, and I'm gonna make some huevo con chorizo because I've been craving that. So I'm gonna make some of that and then um, it's probably just gonna be like a chill day and I'm just gonna make sure that I edit this video so you guys get this video up and I hope that you guys like found some valuable stuff in this video because like I kind of talked about like the JP drain that my dad has so hopefully now that you guys kind of have a visual you guys can sort of understand what a JP drain is so yeah so other than that, oh, I have to do some Castle Branch stuff. I did want to mention that I am going to be having a new playlist where I talk about my search in finding clinical preceptors as well as um, eventually talking about my clinical experiences as an FNP student like in January, whenever that happens. So I'm making a whole playlist about that, talking about everything. So stay tuned for that because that is coming and that's probably where I'll talk more about Castle Branch and my scanner have been like acting up and they're like super slow. So what I ended up having to do, I had my boyfriend help me. I guess there's like this app called Cam... Cam Scanner? I think that's what it's called. I don't have my phone with me right now so I can't really make sure but I'll write it down here below um, to make sure that you guys know. So it's like you take pictures of the document and then that that picture you can save it as a PDF or as a JPEG and I think there's other options as well but I had to save it either as a JPEG or a PDF so I can upload it into Castle Branch so that's what I did but it's like a lifesaver and it's super easy you just email it to yourself so I'm gonna be doing that later today and I'll show you guys a little bit more about Castle Branch that way you guys kind of get an idea when you guys have to do this portion of your, I don't know what it's called, like this portion of the preparation to eventually, <clears throat> excuse me, do your um, clinicals because it's like a whole, whole freaking step thingy. Um, it takes forever and I'll show you guys later. But anyways, I have to go make my, <sighs> breakfast uh, I'm just so hungry so I'm gonna make it now and I already have this out so I'm just gonna do chorizo and then huevo and then I'll probably just well I have Mexican bread I do have Mexican bread that we brought um, on Friday, so I might do that. Oh my god, my pantry's all open. But, or I might just do some toast. But, I don't know. We'll see. Alright, you guys, so I am done with my breakfast. I um, had breakfast with my family real quickly. And then. Now it's time to do Castle Branch. So I'm going to show you guys so that you guys kind of get an idea of what it looks like so that if you have to use Castle Branch in the future, then this is what it looks like. So varicella, hepatitis A, B, TB, tetanus, CPR, your health insurance, influenza, which I printed that out, but um, there was a water that spilled in my bag. So <laughs> that's ruined. So I have to print it again from work. Um, my license information, medical insurance, coverage verification? I don't know what the heck that is. Hmm. Um, it looks like an electronic log database consent form, clinical requirement information form, nursing student's code of ethics, student confidentiality agreement, and some kind of test, and then the HIPAA video. So it's a total of 17 things. 
and of course it's freaking long but anyways i'm gonna show you guys so for example so so i hope you guys can see so like so for measles if you open up the requirement it tells you what it is that you can submit so for example you could submit two vaccinations um proof or you could do a positive antibody titer which is what i have and then and of course it says that you have to have record of it and what is this right here also um more proof or the waiver that you're declining to uh, take that vaccine or whatever so I'm gonna be doing this and while I actually have you guys here let me see okay so the app it's this one so let me see if it'll focus 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 this one right here is the app that my boyfriend ended up having me download so that I can scan my documents by taking a picture and it's called cam scanner so i was right so i'm gonna do that now with my cpr because i need to do that I'm just gonna do a really quick picture that's just like a little overview of what castle branch looks like i'm gonna do all this today because i've been lagging and like i said it's 17 requirements so it takes quite some time if i don't finish it today i hope to finish it this week since i don't have homework this week but you know things happen sometimes and but i have to like stop being lazy and just do it it's just like i keep putting it off because i'm like eh, i don't have to do it i have all my stuff i just have to do it and it's just something that and it's just something that i really don't want to do but i have to do so i better just do it you, you know guys know what i mean so anyways i'm gonna do that and then I think that's it for this video, you guys. It's still 1047, but like I said, I wanted to make sure that I got this video up today on Sunday so that you guys kind of get an idea of what uh, is going on with my clinicals and like a little life update. So that's about it. Nothing very exciting. I'm going to edit this video. So I hope that, that you guys enjoy this video and that you guys found some valuable information in this video because... Um, like I said, I haven't really found much information in like clinicals and stuff like that. So I want to make sure that I share my journey with you guys. So make sure that you subscribe right here and that if you are interested in that new clinical playlist that I'm going to be sharing with you guys this like what is it? It's October. Yeah, this coming month, then stay tuned for that. And if you guys like blogs, let me know. Um, I know my blogs don't get a lot of views but it's kind of fun for me to document all this stuff so if you guys like it make sure to give it a like if you guys made it this far and yeah comment down below um what kind of videos you guys want to see from me if you guys just want me to stick strictly to nursing or if you guys like the vlogs let me know and also make sure to check out these videos right here if you're interested in more content from me and i'll see you on the next one bye